What's up guys, just got the Oculus Rift here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to unbox it and set it up with your computer. Here's the computer I just picked up from Best Buy. It is a ROG G20. It's a gaming desktop PC and it says it's Rift enabled, so that should make it very easy for the setting up of our Oculus Rift. So here's the Oculus Rift, so first, as you see, amazing boxing that they did here. So we're gonna go turn it up and we're gonna pick up the outside layer. We're gonna lay it right here. Comes out and here's the inside of the Oculus Rift. Now you have your Oculus Rift goggles right here. And uh, then you got your sensor to the right. And then you have the little remote that comes with it. And I think of this as a pair of Beats headphones the layout is amazing, the boxing is, the space is taken up uh, well, and when you open up the sensor and you, you know, pick it up, you c it comes with an Xbox controller, uh, some cords, and batteries, of course, for the Xbox controller right here. So we're going to go ahead and move this to the side, and we're going to go set up our computer first. Okay, so the reason why we selected this computer is, first of all, it's Rift enabled. And so that, so that makes it so much more easy to get the Rift set up quickly and for it to work very smoothly with the system. As you know, I wouldn't recommend a uh, non-gaming desktop just because the Oculus Rift requires uh, vast amounts of usage of CPU and graphics. So I'm gonna go ahead and first cut the tape. And then we open up the box here. So first you got your keyboard. So we'll go ahead and uh, open that. Very nice keyboard, it's an Asus keyboard. Um, and it's a gaming computer keyboard. So that makes the buttons, uh, as you can see when I touch it, pops up uh, immediately. And it sounds way cooler than a normal keyboard. Okay, so now I'm gonna take uh, the styrofoam out. Uh, so it seems like I'm just gonna have to lift the whole PC. Now this is not as big as my old PC. And as you can see, this baby is really nice. Pull it out very carefully. Has N NVIDIA graphics card, uh, Intel i7 CPU. Overall, great PC. Next, we open up our box. Now we got our mouse here. We're gonna go on to that. Got your nice gaming mouse. We're gonna go put it over here. And finally we have this. Now I don't know what this is for, but you know, we'll get in and we'll figure out. I think this is the power, power, power box. box. Yeah, power box. You have some more cords, power cord here, another power cord here. And this is just, I think, if you want to add uh, another graphics card. You have two power cords plug in back here and we're gonna go ahead and hit the power button and this should, in fact, turn on. All right, so the power button's right here. So it's on, has beautiful lights up here. Uh, definitely one of the benefits of having a gaming computer is having the lights. So next we're gonna go in and set it up with our TV here. Now he's gonna go click on the download Oculus. So go ahead and click on that. So it uh, it downloads down there, and then you wanna go and hit run. Yeah, correct. Yes. Okay, so hit hit. Let's go. Oh great. Okay, so he's gonna go ahead and hit install now. This is the software. Okay, so now we have the Oculus open, and uh, you want to go ahead and take out the actual eyepiece. So as you can see here, you have uh, six USB ports, and the first four on the top here have the little Oculus symbol. So that's where your Oculus cord is supposed to go. So he's going to go ahead and plug in his eyepiece, so he's going to go in the bottom two. The computer just detected the Oculus, he's going to go ahead and plug in the other cable yeah so one hdmi and one usb for the eyepiece next we're gonna uh go ahead and take the sensor out this helps with the detection of the movement of the player what you want to do is direct the sensor to where you'll be playing and he's gonna go ahead and plug it into the other usb port right next to where he plugged in the eyepiece perfect 
Just detected. Now, one of the advantages of having a gaming keyboard is just this excellent LED light system in your keyboard. So guys, we are at the final minutes of downloading 1.46 gigabytes out of 1.5. We have 0 0.03 gigabytes left. Finally, the Oculus software has been installed. He's gonna go sign in with his account now. He's no. gonna If you do not have an account, you hit create account or sign up. So he has the Rift. Do you have, oh yeah, he does not have the touch. So if you do have Rift in touch, you select that. We have Rift, so we're gonna hit that. So that's an important thing to know. If you want to preserve your lens, do not expose them to sunlight. If you hook them up like we did, you should be all connected. Now we do not have Rift in touch, we have just the Rift. So go ahead and hit next. So we're gonna go start our Oculus remote. Um, so he's gonna go and pull out the black tab. Oh, we gotta turn the lights on. Okay, so he just pulled out the black tab in the back. So with this remote, you can navigate through your virtual reality. Go ahead and hit continue. We have the wireless adapter right here, and we have our controller, and plug in the bottom one. Okay, so now we plugged in, and you want to hit that button. What you want to do is turn on your Xbox controller, turn it, and it's going to be blinking because it's not paired with your wireless adapter. And then you want to turn on your wireless adapter. So now the, the Xbox lights are connected that and the wireless sensor. It's pointing at his face and now go ahead and put the VR goggles on you. So now comes the time when it says place your sensor. Uh, basically what you wanna do is place it from about three feet away from your head location and you wanna get ready to put on your VR goggles. Now you wanna wave it around, up, down, left, right. Now this is not easy setup. It took some time, we had to do some uh, trial and error. Make sure all your cords are connected. There's a cord right on the headset that you need to remember to plug in correctly and in your computer. Whoa, there's a deer right there. Hey guys, as always, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm having a great time making these videos and stay tuned for more videos coming soon.